everyone, it's Rose, and I have another unboxing for you today. And today, it is a large diamond painting. It's 60 by 80, and it's um, something I call Undersea Clock. Now, this diamond painting comes from the Yi Wu DIY Diamond Store on AliExpress. And this is one that I bought during the Black Friday sale. Uh, so it was um, ordered on November 29th. It was shipped on November 30th and it arrived at my house, my, my condo, um, on December 24th. So I am finally getting to it today because I need to um, confirm receipt in AliExpress today and um, I want to make sure that everything's here so that uh, so that I don't run into trouble if, uh, if there's anything missing or if there's something wrong with it. I doubt that there will be but you never know so all right let's see if I can pull this off. No, I have to cut that off. So I like the way it's packed. Generally speaking, I mean, there's always exceptions, but generally speaking, when uh, diamond paintings are packed like this with the bubble wrap and the, I think it's a tubular um, bubble wrap and probably on a foam core, they tend to come through pretty well. So. Let's just see. All right. That's it. And I've changed the orientation of my videoing. Um, just because now I like to have my laptop beside me all the time. And I want a comfortable place to sit so I can sit on my couch and open it on the coffee table now. Before I used to sit on a footstool. Not that you guys care, but you know. All right. So we have a standard kit, a green boat with open end, a few bags, blunt end, um, bent nose tweezers, and a single placer pen, no multi placers, and then another kit just like it. Okay, we'll set those aside. Uh, then we have more cellophane wrap. To wrap the um, diamonds on. So there we have the diamonds, and here we have the diamond painting. And that doesn't belong to that because it's a round drill, and these are square drills. So that's just something that uh, got stuck. So I'll show you the thumbnail. I really like the colors in this and I like fishies and I like that fishy so I thought this would be nice it's very big but I thought it needed the detail for for something you know with all those colors and all that stuff going on in the background I thought I needed the detail of a big diamond painting so or I needed a big diamond painting to get the detail all right so now we've got some more tape holding the bubble wrap and no, there was no tubular bubble wrap on here. So, oh, but look at that. It looks like it's perfect. 
more cellophane. All right, and there we go. Now there is a, a foam core in the center and I'm just trying to release the curl uh, as gently as possible. Because I, I don't want the um, adhesive to get stressed and pucker or form rivers as, as it's also known. All right, so this is um, actually 80 by 60, not 60 by 80 because it goes long ways. So, I don't know, maybe it's better if I turn the camera so that you can see it and I open it this way. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, where's the fish? Oops, oh, I scared the dog. Okay, so try to lay it out flat. There we go. I think this will be fine. I don't think we're going to have problems of it having been rolled uh, so tightly that it's going to be hard to um, pull back. I just want to make sure that uh, I'm pulling up the paper that was laid second because otherwise there might be a little bit of overlap and then the paper might rip. So, Oh yeah, this is gonna look nice. I can tell from the fishy. Oh yeah, this is all but perfect. I'm leaving about a centimeter and a half uh, covered up here, but um, yeah, there we go. Uh, that looks really, really nice. I love that. There's a ton of detail in there, and um, it's really good. Now, I am seeing, just sitting here, the adhesive is, is uh, bubbling up. So um, I'm going to quickly show you the canvas um, and the drill field and then the legend is over here so I'm gonna have to cover it back up and um, and then I'll show you the legend as well but when I cover it back up I'm gonna press that adhesive down really really hard I, sh I forgot to do it before I unroll like before I pulled back the the paper but uh, I want to press it down really really hard so that it's as well adhered to the canvas as possible um, because I don't want more of those little um, lifts happening. Okay, so I'm going to take you out of the camera, uh, out of the uh, holder, and take you down to explore this canvas. So the symbols are very, very clear. I prefer, uh, like I'm looking at the light pink ones here, I prefer, well, sorry. I'm, I'm not very steady here. Uh, I prefer to have uh, dark printing on all light colors, uh, but uh, with a light pad, this is not going to be difficult to make out. Those are very, very clear and legible symbols. I'll check when we're looking at the legend. Let's take a look at the fish. There's the fish. Looks good. Oh, it looks great. It looks just fantastic. And then the clock, there's so much detail to the clock. Lots of confetti. I love confetti. I just think it makes a painting look so incredibly rich. There are a lot of paintings that, have, that don't have confetti that look fantastic, no question but I have always preferred the ones that have a lot of confetti. 
I'm working on one right now that has big swatches of black and it looks stunning but I get really bored placing the black so yes oh yeah we got a few more fishies here and some coral oh yeah oh yeah that's really nice okay I'm gonna put you back and I'm going to cover this up again there we go and there you see Pippi playing with I don't know one of her toys Yeah, the canvas came out perfect. I feel something, but I think it might be something underneath. Oh yeah, it's underneath the table. There was a crumb. All right, there we go. Like the princess and the pea, when you're rolling these things to flatten them, uh, you can feel any little grit that's on your table, whether it's a whether it's a crumb or a bee, like one of the diamonds. It's always so easy to feel. Okay, so that's good for now. Oh my goodness, yes, I like this a lot. So now I'm going to press down really, really hard uh, to adhere this canvas and the double-sided tape as well as possible. I want the double-sided tape to work itself right into the, um, the, the unevenness of the canvas so that it sticks really well and so that it won't come up. Now I'm going to be storing this flat so it's not, well, upright but uh, open. So it's not going to, um, it's not going to curl anymore. So this is like, the packing was the last curling for this diamond painting. Okay, that's good. Now, I'm going to pull this back a little bit. And then I'll bring you down low so that you can see the um, legend. You know what? I'm not going to show you the legend on here because it's so tiny. So we're going to go straight into measuring. And then we will do the inventory of the drills. All right. So this is where the drill field starts. And it is exactly 80 centimeters by 60 and a half. So uh, it is true to size and the drill area is the area that, um, that they advertise. All right, so I'll tell you about the cost of this for those of you who might be interested. Uh, I, okay, so the, the pre-sale price for this was $52.23 Canadian. So that is about 30, maybe $35 American. And I got it for $45.89. Uh, so, about 30 bucks American, something like that. Um, Something like that. Maybe $31 or $32 American. Anyway, uh, close enough. And um, yeah, so let's, uh, it, 
and it doesn't tell us on here how many colors there are. So we'll just have to count on the inventory sheet. And yeah, the back of this canvas is just about as perfect as you could hope for. you down. I'm gonna turn you again. All right, so I think you can see most of that. Let's count the colors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. 42 colors. Okay, that's good. I um, That's a lot of colors. Now you can have absolutely stunning diamond paintings that don't have a lot of colors. I've done ones that had like 16 colors or something like that. Uh, 14 colors. And they look great. But, a lot of color is nice too. And it gives a, a, a richness to it. Oh, I forgot to put my sticker on the diamond painting. So this is my 285th diamond painting that I've ordered. That's a lot of diamond paintings. Holy smokes. Let's do inventory. And I'm going to go through these fast. So here we go. on these because I have both 966 and 996 so here's the 996 it looks like 966 until you flip it around and this one could be mistaken for 996 unless you flip it around the only way I know which is which is I've got six well I've got seven of these <clears throat> and five of the other uh, but the other thing is, all of my bags, uh, and this is for anybody who hasn't been diamond painting for a while, normally, when you get diamonds from a diamond painting company, they get their diamonds from the same manufacturer. 
and the manufacturer always seals the bag on the same side. Sometimes they seal the bag on the left side, like these bags. Sometimes they seal it on the right side. But if you ever get a number like 996 or um, 966, um, there are a few others I think too, um, you can tell what number they are by making sure that you've got the seal on the same side as all the other bags and then you'll be able to see uh, or be certain of which color it is. All right, back to fast forward. Okay, so I noticed that I'm getting these blue diamonds uh, and it, I just saw that there's um, a, the, ed, the corner of this bag has been uh, cut off. So um, I have to just close it up. There we go. And then at the end, I'll pick up all the loose diamonds and uh, put them, oops, and put them together. Uh, I've got a little Ziploc bag here ready to go just for that sort of thing when uh, a bag of diamonds uh, is open. Sometimes there's multiple bags of diamonds that are open here. I've got, looks like there might be some white ones as well. 35, 56 or something. Anyway, uh, because I've got another... Uh, Got another couple that are loose of a different color. So anyway, we'll figure that out. I'll figure it out when I um, when I uh, put these in the Ziploc bag for storage. should have ticks beside each of the numbers and I do and I got a, an extra bag of something okay uh, I was going to show you the symbols on here and we didn't before so let's take a look at them now all right so we've got the open and close parenthesis and they're slightly different colors like they're well they're quite different colors so that's not going to be a problem for me telling one from the other uh i've got looks like a i'm not sure if that's a dollar sign or an eight let's turn on the light and see if that makes any difference uh, it looks like a dollar sign uh not a dollar sign uh, an s uh yeah that's a dollar sign and I do have an eight, but they're no, they're no, um, they're not the same. And I do have an S down here, but it also is a very different color. So as long as I remember that the dollar sign is red, I'm good. And let's see what else. I like the fact that it's alphanumeric sim symbols. Uh, characters, the sort of thing you'd find on a keyboard. Uh, those are my favorites. Okay, yeah, so that's good. I've got everything I need here. So now I'm just going to bag up the drills. So I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers and viewers. Um, I really appreciate you coming back and watching my videos and leaving me comments and likes and so forth. And I also want to thank my patrons for uh, their financial support to my channel. It, uh, it helps me um, because there's always something I need to buy to show you guys. And, um, and so, you know, getting a little bit of uh, extra money uh, each month allows me to uh, try out some new stuff for you. Okay, so thanks everybody. And I will be back to you again very soon with another diamond painting video.
Bye-bye.